shifting focus on the occasion of Valentine's Day, threatening messages continue unabated. Now, fringe outfit Sri Ram Sena has warned that they will block those who have been seen celebrating the Day of Love in public places. The outfit's chief, uh, Pramod, went one step further, calling Valentine's Day a marketing gimmick by multinational companies. February 14th, Valentine's Day, जो विकृति चलता आ रही है, इसके खिलाफ श्रीराम सेना संगठन से गत 20 साल से हम विरोध करते आ रहे हैं। ये Valentine's Day एक गलत विकृति है। युवक के युवतियों को अलग रास्ते पर जाने जाने के लिए एक दिन मनाते हैं इसके लिए इसके पीछे ड्रग माफिया सेक्स माफिया मल्टीनेशनल कंपनी का मार्केटिंग ये सब है तो मैं कहता हूं इसको बंद करना चाहिए बैन करना चाहिए कल ही कल कर्नाटक स्टेट में श्रीराम सेना संगठन हम कार्यकर्ता कानून चौकट में ही हम इसको रोकेंगे पार्क में हो पार्लर मिल्क पार्लर ऐसे आइस आइसक्रीम पार्लर जो रहते हैं वही ये सब चलता रहता है तो उसको हम all right, uh, going straight across to my colleague Neha, who is uh, joining us on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Neha, of course, it is Valentine's Day today, and uh, we are uh, hearing, uh, getting to hear of these uh, threats by these uh, fringe uh, groups. Uh, uh, tell us more about the situation on the ground. Uh, what we are also picking up is that uh, Sri Ram Sena chief has gone on to say that uh, Valentine's Day is a marketing gimmick, and he's going to be stopping uh, uh, any couples who are going to, into parks or ice cream parlors. Tell us more. Well, you know, Ashna, this is not the first time that we've heard from the Sri Ram Sene or other right wing organizations for that matter, or pro Canada groups, or you know, any other activist groups saying that they are going to be disrupting any sort of celebrations or for that matter, any couples, in fact, you know, who are spotted out in public. We've been seeing this over the years as, you know, the threats have only been increasing in the state and in the city. However, you know, as far as things are concerned on the ground right now, things have largely remained peaceful. We're, in fact, reporting from the central part of Bangalore right now, very close to one of the biggest parks, the Kabin Park over here. And so far, you know, things have largely remained peaceful. As far as these threats are concerned, we'll really have to wait and see if it goes on to become an issue of law and order. But over the past couple of years, we've seen that, you know, barring, of course, <clears throat> a few sporadic incidents here and there across the state, that things have largely remained peaceful. So even today, of course, you know, as the day has just begun, we'll really have to see how things progress through the day. But we understand that, you know, with, of course, these threats coming in, there is another question that's now being raised by the opposition about why a right-wing organization such as these have been given a free hand to operate in the state and it's not just as far as Valentine's Day is concerned but even in the past you know with several issues we're seeing that the right-wing organizations in fact you know be it Mr. Pramod Mutalik of the Sri Ram Sede or any other organization for that matter have really been allowed to you know sort of um, given a free hand despite the government assuring time and again that they would take action that stringent action would be taken we'll really have to see how things pan out across the city and the state through the day. Absolutely uh, Neha many thanks for joining us uh, with all those details.